Right, so what's clear is that the silicon carbide revolution isn't just about a material or a power device, but a whole ecosystem. And to look at that further, I'm joined by Nicola Lambola. Hello, Chris. Oh, see, having a good time? Yeah, great. Excellent. Okay, where do you want to start, sir? Uh, we've been focusing on, on, on EV chargers, a huge and growing market, of course. Um, so how are they using ST silicon carbide modules in their design? So let me give you the example of Alpitronics. Alpitronics is the company that develops power electronics for automotive manufacture. And they design an hypercharger, which is a high power charging station for EVs. We at ST have the chance to collaborate with passionate people in Alpitronics, really. And I would say that the success story that we have with them is based on three main pillars. First, it's mandatory to have a clear understanding of their needs. Second, together with pro module experts that we have inside ST, to select the right device, fitting the right feature, the right mission profile, the right performance, and to support them during their design phase. You know, Chris, Using silicon carbide is, means dealing with higher power or higher frequency. And that's totally different from what engineers were used to with IGBT. That's why it's mandatory to support your customer and to accompany them during the whole phase of their project. Thanks also to the lab capability that we have in ST. Uh, we can go up to 500 kilowatts. We are also able to support our customer in any application based on real measurement. And this is a clear differentiator. And last but not least also, we have ensured strong operation and supply to our customer thanks to the large investment which has been done by ST on wideband gap device since several years. Slightly nervous introducing a video about a passionate relationship. Yeah, you will. <laughs> and let's have a look at a film about Alpatronic. Yeah. So let's continue our fantastic SIG journey here in Electronica 2022. Let me present you the first 50 kilowatt wall mountable fast charger on the market developed by Alpitronic, an Italian company based in Bolzano in collaboration with ST Microelectronics. As you can see, for a 50 kilowatt DC charger, it's a very compact. Let's have a look on the key feature of this DC charging station. First, there are two charging plugs which can be compliant CCS2, CCS1, Shademo and GBT. 50 kW charging on one vehicle or 2 times 25 kW parallel charging possible. Continuous 150 Hm charging currents and you can put it inside or in outdoor installation. High efficiency, up to 97%. Vehicle to grid ready, what does it mean concretely? Your car battery will give back energy to the power grid at certain moment of the day or during the night. This functionality can be used, for example, to absorb a peak in terms of demand on the grid. For that, the AC-DC converter inside the charging station needs to be bidirectional. But what are the main advantages of ST SIG product for a DC charging station like this one? Faster time to charge the car, higher efficiency and lower temperature. As the SIG can also run at higher frequency than IGBT, the passive component size can also be reduced and therefore the total cost of ownership, the famous TCO, is also reduced. So in a few words, the main SIG benefits are faster, more efficient, lower losses, and lower cost at system level. And here, I would like to say that we at ST are very happy and excited to be collaborating with Alpitronic on this type of product. We really appreciate the trust they have in us to help bring their solution to market and we are looking forward to continuing our strong support for both their development 
and commercial ramp-ups. So, what can I say about SIC at ST? Well, we are a worldwide leader in the technology. We have developed and are continuing our development to propose to our customer innovative, both discrete and poor module with state-of-the-art technology inside. We have released our Gen3 technology recently, giving to our customer a wider range of added value. All our front-end is done in-house, and we are going to launch our own SIG substrate factory in Sicilia, Catania, in 2023. A lot of investment has been done during the last year, and ST will push you in the same direction for the coming years. The market is expected to grow very fast on EV side, but also on all the infrastructure linked to EV. This year's charging station is what on them, but solar, wind, energy storage, UPS, motor control are also very promising. As you can see, a very exciting journey is coming thanks to SIC. This is a clear revolution inside the power electronics world. ST took the right strategic decision, will continue to play a leading role and will stay the innovative leader in this wide mind gap technology journey. You can join us on st.com slash sick. Now, we saw multiple ST modules in those EV chargers, but if you were watching the show yesterday, we were looking at uh, smaller forms of transport, you know, things like e-scooters. So, so how, how is ST meeting that demand? Hey, it's a very good question. You know, Chris, power modules from the building block of many power systems. And ST is tearing its offering to new market. And while consumer are increasingly clamoring for e-scooters, e-bike, especially since pandemic. ST is also working on smaller device that will better fit these applications. And does it just stop there? Are we just looking at smaller and smaller forms of transport or is there a bigger picture? No, definitely not. We are also observing new demand for silicon carbide in mode of transportation which are even more demanding than EV, such as e-car or e-plane. Do you imagine, Chris, e-plane? We are talking about e-plane. And why silicon carbide first transform solar inverter and EV ecosystem, it is now entering into new domain that engineers did not expect. And let me tell you the following. We are just at the beginning of the power electronic revolution. And this revolution is enabled thanks to SIG, Chris. Okay, well, it does beg the question, what is behind the seemingly unstoppable rise of silicon carbide? Why, what's happened? The rise of silicon carbide is ongoing because we passed several milestones. And now the material is ready. First, we are not going back to fossil fuel car. I hope not, no. Why? Because the market is massively adopting EVs. Second, when you have a lot of car on the field, you need to build the entire charging infrastructure. And SIC is the best candidate for that. And let me tell you something else. And it is a point that we did not touch together during this wonderful live broadcast. There is a direct... Do I pay you now? <laughs> <laughs> Silicon carbide is a direct answer to the sustainability challenges that we are facing. Uh, that's a big and very bold claim to make. Go on then, back it up. How? Companies understand the need to reduce their carbon footprint. And one effective way to do it is to use silicon carbide and to make more efficient power system. Let me give you a few figures. If we could save one person, do you imagine one person is not a lot, but if we could save one person of the total energy consumption, electricity consumption at worldwide level, dedicated to industrial, do you know how many tons of CO2 we could save? 10, 20. You are too shy, Chris. You are too shy. We could save 32 million 
tons of CO2. Can you imagine? Well, what, does that, what does that mean in real terms? It means we could save 15 new nuclear plants. 15 Serious. new, seriously, yeah. And can you imagine this amount of saving, especially during this context of global warming and energy crisis? And that's why also ST has decided to be carbon neutral by 2027. And while the number that I give you are, I would say, difficult to grasp, the engineering reality is that SIC can enable energy efficiency gain greater than 1%. That's why it's not only company working in mode of transportation, but SIC also is largely uh, adopted by other companies. And I remind you what I told you. We are just at the beginning of the power electronic revolution. And this revolution is enabled You're thanks really to SIG. Ah, yes, I am yeah. very excited by that, yeah. Michael, it's been an absolute joy talking to you. Enjoy the rest of Electronica. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Thank you.